Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video. So I'm not showing up on screen currently because I am going to do a tutorial for you. This came from a question that someone asked. If you're not signed up for my email list, I will link below something that you could sign up for, but it's a way for me to just share free tips and ideas to help teachers. And one of the ways that I do that is I set up a Google form where people submit questions and then I answer them in a future email. And this question, I should have looked before I started who it came from. So I'm so sorry I can't shout you out right now, but they asked how to save time when typing up equations in Microsoft Word because it is time consuming if you don't know the tricks. And I'm so excited to share them today. So we are going to get right into this. So first of all, this is Microsoft Word. A lot of teachers, pay teachers, sellers will frequently share that their trick is to not use Word and to use PowerPoint. And they say all kinds of things about why PowerPoint's better than Microsoft Word. But here is the truth. The reason that they're not using Microsoft Word is because they don't know how to use Microsoft Word. There is nothing wrong with Microsoft Word to make your worksheets or anything else. There are things about PowerPoint that definitely do make it easier, but if you are trying to type equations, it is far easier in Microsoft Word, which is why it's my top choice. If I need to type out notes, homework, a test, a quiz, anything, I'm doing it in Microsoft Word. So that is the end of my soapbox moment. Another note before we begin, I am on a Mac. Macs work a little bit differently than PCs. What I'm going to show you for the bulk of the tutorial is the same, but getting started, the setup is a little bit different between a PC and a Mac. I cannot show you what it is on a Mac, but I do have this handy guide that I will have linked below. You may have to give your email to get the guide, but this is all explaining how to set this up on a PC and how to set it up on a Mac so that you are all set and ready to go. And then to be fully transparent, I'm re-looking at this because once you set this up, you don't have to set it up again. So I set this up um, when I first got my Mac and I have not touched it since. So I'm going to go to tools, which is outside of my recording area. It's at the very tippity top. And I'm going to go to autocorrect options underneath. Again, this is the tools menu. And this comes up with a menu and I want to go to math autocorrect. And I want to make sure that this is checked that says use math autocorrect rules outside of math regions. And I'm going to click this to say replace text as you type. And you can actually create your own autocorrect things if you want. But I just want to have the math autocorrect on and I'm going to close out of that. So now what happens is that as I type, I can get math symbols to come up really easily. So the key that I need to use is this slash. I think it's the backslash. So I start with that. That is the key above the enter or return key on your keyboard. And then I can type out something like degree. And when I hit the space bar, it auto formats to a degree symbol. I can do the same thing and write C-O-N-G, hit space. Then we get the congruent symbol slash S-I-M space, we get the similarity symbol, slash D-E-L-T, capital D, space, now we have a triangle. Those are my most used symbols and that's how I can get them really easily. Oh, I forgot my other favorite. So slash A-N-G-L-E, space, we have the angle symbol. So that saves me a ton of time because if you are used to using Microsoft Word for equation formatting, you're having to go to insert, equation, and then going through this whole menu, trying to find the symbols in here, which is a pain because geometry is the last one on here. And we're getting all these over here. Oh, okay, that reminds me, actually, I have more favorites. Slash parallel to get the parallel and then slash perp to get the perpendicular. So that's how I get all these symbols into anything I'm typing. Very quick, very easy, but there's other cool things, if I want to do a less than or equal to, I can put the less than symbol and then the equal sign and it automatically makes it less than or equal to. I can do greater than, equal sign, 
We got greater than or equal to. And there are actually many more symbols. I have them all listed here in this guide. Again, that I'll have available for you to download. Now here's the really fun part. If I want to put in an equation that might be a little bit more complicated, I can simply hit control and the equal sign. And that automatically brings up the equation ribbon where we can get all those options. But right within this frame, I can start typing and it will give me what I need. Let's say I need a fraction. Let's say I just want to put in one half. I can type in one, the slash, the two. When I hit space, it's going to format that as a fraction. This is probably the one that I use most often. So it's control and equal on a Mac. And if you're on a PC, then it's alt and equal. So within here, I'm gonna start typing. If I just put in that slash by itself and hit space, it's going to give me the frame for a fraction. And I like to do this for anything that's more complex, like if it's x plus five over x minus six or something like that. So that is a big help. If I want to use an exponent, I'm going to hit shift six on my keyboard to get that caret. If I put like a two after for it to be x squared and hit space, it's going to make it x squared automatically. So this doesn't do everything. Like I don't have a easy way to get a square root symbol, but just the simple act of hitting control equal to bring up the equation and not having to insert equation, click and wait for it all. It makes it so much easier. So I could still open up the menu for radicals and have that still be here. And it's a lot easier. The other one that I use frequently is accents. I need, you know, like a ray, a line segment, the line. There's no easy way to get these other than using the shortcut with the equal sign to get the equation editor to pop up. And then I can add in whatever I want there, but I'm still having to click up here. So it doesn't do everything, but this saves me so much time, especially for pre-calculus and calculus where I'm doing lots of like equations. And then just the shortcuts, like I showed you with the symbols, save me a lot of time in geometry. Now, another cool trick, if you do not like this font, you can, with it highlighted, click on the ABC text and then go to home and then change it to your favorite font. My current favorite font for math worksheets and things right now is PB pour over coffee. I just love the way it looks. Like it looks really nice with numbers. It's just a nice clean font. And then my personal preference is to add in a space before and after every plus and minus sign. So that's everything for this tutorial. Super short, super simple. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. And if you've somehow figured out how to use these shortcuts on PowerPoint, please let me know because it would make my life so much easier. And if you want the free guide, it will be linked down below. And as always, thanks for watching.